Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of MSA Sports Center Stage from the Pittsburgh City League Championship game. I'm with four-time Pittsburgh City League champion Jackie Abana triple overtime for the Alder Knights Dragons victorious over Obama Academy. Talk about, first of all, uh, the field. You know, I know you were part of that basketball club over the last three years, but this year, kind of your basketball team, Jody, is what Coach, the way Coach Belinsky expressed it to me. You're the glue that holds this team together. Talk about this club and what that has meant to you all year long to keep that tradition that the Dragons have established the last couple of years. Well, actually, because we were going around. Well, thank you for uh, interviewing me. Sure. Um, but um, actually, uh, it's a great experience, you know. And I was actually here the last two years, not three. But um, yeah, our motto actually this year was defense. Uh, our main thing was last year, we lost a lot of firepower. You know, the twins and Raymond, and, and we actually had to prove ourselves this year, uh, showing that we ain't need you know, three, you know, all state players to win the championship. We need to stick together, you know, right up to the end. This game uh, comes down to Dana Struthers from Obama Academy. Incredible, uh, you know, in order to have an incredible game, you got to have an incredible game. This kid gets two buzzer beaters to send you into the uh, what ends up being three overtimes. You hit a buzzer beater at the end of the second overtime to send it to the third. Uh, you know, it really becomes at some point a feeling of, oh my gosh, this is this is an epic basketball game. Could you guys tell by the time you're getting into that second overtime, like, oh my god, this is this is one for the ages. Uh, my thing was, our coach told us, uh, you know, couldn't do nothing about you know Dana in the last couple. Of you know, shots up and send us in the overtime. But, uh, what are we doing? They need to go down to the video room? We, uh, they do. They're doing this. All we have to do is keep kitchen. our heads up and listen to their coach and they'll follow his I'm not gonna walk no steps. Through. Talk about Tyler. Nine of ten from the stripe mm -hmm. during those overtime periods. We talk all the time on broadcast on the MSA Sports Network about the importance of hitting those free throws. Mm -hmm. uh, that's got to be a good feeling. We know your man's going to go up there and knock down nine out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can get him in here real quick? Yeah, come on, come on in. Tyler Williams to join us. Nine up, out of ten. Up, so, yeah, Back on the center stage. Uh, yeah. The young man, uh, talk about the, we were just talking with uh, Jahi about the, the feeling of this basketball game, and at some point you start to go, wow, this is the kind of stuff they, they write books and make movies about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was, well, when I was a freshman, I was blessed for Coach B to put me in varsity, so we played Beaver Falls or whatever. But it was more of like a different type of vibe. Beaver Falls would like hold the ball. Yeah. Like until like the last shot or whatever, but this time he just told us to attack and be aggressive. So you guys win it. Talk about uh, Coach Falinski, what he means to you as a club and as an individual. I mean, he's he's a little yeah, tough on tough, us, but, but you know, I can't. He's a good dude. We, but sure. you know that's how coaches coach. are. Um, but all we do is keep our heads up and listen sure. to our coaches and follow these steps. I guess they're really. Dragons win their fourth in a row off to the state playoffs. Still more they want to do. Jahi Agbana and Tyler Williams right here on MSA Sports, same stage. Thank you. Thank you.